Well, hello there. Uh, it's been a little while. Um, sorry, uh, I've been busy having a baby. Uh, that's been keeping me out of the little hobby loop. But I'm um, getting back in the swing of things. Um, and I want to show you what, guys, uh, what we're going to be working on today. Um, we're going to take this guy. And we're going to turn him into this here. Um, and I'm going to show you all the steps that I do along the way. So just so you know where we're starting. And this video will probably be over the course of five or six videos broken down so it's not like one two hour long video. Um, so what I've got is I've just got a Space Marine, uh, super awesome Blood Angels Assault Marine Sergeant with double hand flamers, you know, because that's kick ass. Um, all I've done is I basically I've just primed them with this right here. Um, it's a military paint, angelic blood. Um, so I just primed that over, not even, um, you know, no black primer or anything, just right over the plastic, just sprayed that on. This is what we've got. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the airbrush, and we're going to airbrush um, some orange uh, and then some yellow. I find you could probably skip this orange step if you wanted um, and just go into putting the yellow on, but this gives it a little bit more of a transition. Uh, again, it's those little details that make things really uh, look awesome. So we're going to shake up our paint. Uh, and as always, safety first. So let's put this on. Can you still hear me? I probably sound a little funny. Uh, for the sake of, I, you know, it's been a while, I forgot that I, um, I risked my health for you guys so you can understand me. So I'm going to leave that mask off. But don't leave your mask off. Or I'm not responsible for whatever happens to you. Uh, let's turn on that compressor. All right. So we're just going to put, um, honestly, probably two drops will be enough. Um, just because I'm only doing one guy, I would put more in there if I was painting a lot of guys. But And I'm also using a new airbrush I won at the uh, Battle for Salvation tournament. This is a Badger Patriot. Um, it's nice. It's a good little airbrush. I'm enjoying it. So um, I wanted to get used to it, so I've been doing some uh, some, some things with this guy. So uh, let's make sure we got some paint. Yeah, we got paint. So what I'm going to do is, if you look here, see that on the jetpack, that highlight, that's where the light's hitting? Um, I'm going to try and simulate, uh, I don't want to say that effect, but I'm going to kind of use that as my frame of reference. So if we look and we see where the light's hitting across the model, if the light source is coming from that side, that's what we're going to kind of use. So, And I'm just slowly pulling back on the trigger again um, while I uh, push down to get that air going. That's what I'm looking for there. Uh, I'm going to apply it. Now if I look here, see that? See where that shine starts coming from this corner right here? Do the same on this side. Uh, hit it up on the edges here. Right, so that's what we're starting to look at. Um, <clears throat> oops. Don't drop your models. Uh, I'm going to kind of hit it from an angle like this, uh, just to kind of hit the, the top sides of this stuff here. Maybe just a little bit like that. Um, we're going to do the same to try and get these areas in here. And the same for his leg. So just that one side of the leg. Uh, now in the front, we're going to do it kind of the same thing. And where I can, I do want to try and hit it from a top-down angle to get the top sides more, because I want that light coming from the top. Um, now this guy, since he's a sergeant and I don't want to have to make new ones every time, I've actually magnetized his arms here. So we can... Uh, Hit up his little shoulder pad. And then the top part of his gun. Just like that. Okay, now uh, that was just two drops of paint. And I'm almost out. So that's perfect. So. We'll throw a little uh, little water in there. Just clean the 
this guy out. Uh, because I'm kind of painting these colors over each other, I'm not super worried about getting it super clean right now. Uh, if I was going to be painting something completely different, I'd really want to empty it out. Okay. So now what we're going to do is take our yellow. Well, they've already pre-shaken a little, so you don't have to sit here while I shake this guy up. But uh, make sure you really shake up your paints when you're uh, before you before you throw them in there. You want them nice and mixed. And same thing. We'll just use two drops. Cap it. Test it. Good to go. Uh, and we're just going to basically do the same thing, almost like layering. We're going to try and leave some of that orange and get some of that yellow just in the uh, in the high points. Um, and I just realized I wanted to do the underside of this jetpack. Um, so I'll show you, uh, I guess we'll use this as a good example of how I could skip the orange and use just the yellow. All right, so we're just putting that yellow in there but leaving some of that orange behind. I'm just hitting all the spots I hit before. first. Hope I kept that in frame for you guys. I just realized I wasn't paying attention to the frame. Uh, so the other thing I missed is I wanted to do these this side right here. So I pulled back to kind of get that spray to fan out so it kind of will hopefully give it a bit of that orange look. And then I want to get in, if you can see where that light is, same thing, we're just going to hit that spot. Uh, and since the air is blowing past it, if I hold this guy at the right angle, I won't get any more paint on the top. So it can give you kind of a cool effect when the two sides meet. Um, like over here, for example, it's, nothing's on the top side on that corner. But then we got the paint right there. So it just keeps it on the side that I want. So again, I'm spraying it at this angle, knowing all the paint's going to shoot past and not get on that corner right there or on the top right there. Cool. And that's all there is to it. So that's step one. That's just hitting it up with the airbrush um, for color. Um, but there's one more thing I want to do, because if you're looking at it, you're like, that yellow's probably a little bright for a blood angel. And you would be correct. So we're going to clean this out. And what I've got is... Yes, I still have some old ball red left before I switch to crimson or whatever the new one is. So whatever GW's red washes. Uh, but spraying washes is super fun. Um, if you, you don't want to go too heavy with it, but you want to go heavy enough so that it's not immediately kind of just dry on the bottom. I'll let you push it around with the air of the airbrush. So we're just going to pour in a... A little bit, because it's just one model I'm doing. That might be enough. A little goes a long way in an airbrush. So we'll see if that was enough. So again, see how yellow he is? We don't want that. So we're just spraying it down with a wash, getting a pretty decent coat on. Uh, and you can see how it's still shiny and wet. I can actually kind of push the paint with the airbrush to keep the areas I want a little lighter. Now, the other thing, too, that's nice about throwing a wash on is I find the miniature paint to be a little glossy when it dries. Uh, and this brings it right down. See that? So we can, we can darken the sky right up. Um, so it, it gets in the creases, it darkens all the areas we want darker, um, but we can still see that the colors that we wanted to come through. And sometimes you get those little, uh, what they would call tide marks. Um, they kind of make a nice effect on the armor, I found, I'll be honest. Um, like on the top with that little, with those little reflective spots. Uh, when those dry, those will leave some fun little marks. Okay. Oops.
Uh, let's get the arms. So same thing, same plan. And then the last gun. Right. Uh, and then when that dries, we are going to be good to go. And uh, that's just about perfect. All right, so we'll clean this out one more time. We'll wait for that to dry, and then uh, I'll hit you up when uh, I'm doing the base coats. Uh, base coats.